I'm back for vlog 87. I'm here with my brother Coots. That's uh, one thing that's good about today. Is yes, the beach is a little bit packed out, but the rain is far and few between, which is good. Probably one. Uh, the waves today, though, it's uh, well, you can have a look for yourself. So, so not the actual calm water that I'm used to, but you know, it's still a swim, it's still something I can get out of the way and, and enjoy. So, I think for the most part, the mental barrier, the, the problems I've been having, just, uh, they've gone away, and I feel like I feel like that most of most of the time they they go for like three or four days, and I just need to keep pushing no matter what. So whenever we get in out get out to do these things, it's just clearing my mental. So I'm really happy about that. I'm also am getting a little bit of anxiety. Um, people are uncomfortable with me recording myself. You can see it in their eyes as I'm recording myself, but you know. This is my journey, it's not theirs, so I'll keep pushing through, keep uh, doing what I need to do to succeed in life because, you know, like I said, who's gonna, who's gonna uh, care if I stop? I don't want to stop, I want to keep going. So, you know, this is just log 87 of, of my goal at the end of the year to reach, you know, probably 350. Or 400, and I'm just going to keep pushing. That's that's what matters to me. There you go. Get it? He's got stingers here, though. Yep. Yeah. But I see everyone in swimming here. Yeah, they're not as bad as the ones over on Fraser Island itself. Yeah. They got the Eurocanji one, which is the one that's had those helicopters flying out, like the big black one. Uh, but it's pretty mild here. You don't get it as bad here as you do I'm, uh, I'm. I'm continuing my uh, walk. Someone else just approached me and asked me about sting it. Um, I don't know any information. There's nothing that I can provide. So what I'm doing primarily is I'm just scouting the beach. I'm looking for a good spot to swim today. I think... Oh no, let's have a quick look. A couple of people have told me, doing this stuff every day, I am going to suffer from a content drought. People are going to lose interest. But, I'm not particularly making these videos more for people. I'm making these videos more for myself. Because the only way that I can seem to hold myself accountable is if I have these video logs, aka vlogs, of my pushing myself because that's what matters I just want to keep pushing myself no matter what something bad happens I document it and then at least now I know when I go back to my previous couple of vlogs before the previous one and I see things like and I see things like that those patterns emerging I'm able to deal with them I can't seem to to deal with them if if uh, if I can't analyze the pattern and learn from it I can remember things but I want to see like when I go back to this moment and I look at the last time I was depressed right or really down the dumps or you know it's so reason here right I can go back to these videos and be like oh shit this is how I deal with it last time 
you see I just went for a swim every day it wasn't super effective etc so it's all about a learning process and it's about getting myself out there you know it seems to me like the growth potential and the growth usage of these videos only really certainly like only really appeals to not my not my twitch audience really no it appeals to people that are going through the same thing as I do I go through this every day today I'm feeling great um, that mud on the wall feeling inside my stomach is gone it's probably the first time I've mentioned I've mentioned it on stream but that mud on the wall feeling where it's pushing against my stomach pushing it out and then a deep doubt sa seed feeling going down it just feels horrible I don't know how to deal with that because I don't know how to talk about these feelings because I don't understand these feelings that's why I see my psychologist I, I try to understand what these feelings are that I'm going through and there could be doubt and they could be uh, it, it could be doubt it could be fear or it could be regret but I like to try and live with no regrets I hate regretting things that's that's probably one of the biggest things out regretting things is not something that I want like I feel like a lot of this is a waste of time from other people but I, I go back and I watch these these videos and it's a, it's a reason why I keep moving forward you know? and today this is like I said vlog 87 of 300 I people are telling me it's like I gotta set goals well my goals are not so much fantasy land right my goals are yes be successful on YouTube yes grow a following but I like to have more obtainable goals right being successful uh, on YouTube requires a lot of factors it's uh, it, it's something that requires you to put in conscious effort every day to try and tailor the content to what your viewers like I want to make this content because this content is not because it's easily rapidly producible but because it's my own internal motivations that help me succeed and push forward so in saying that I make these for me and uh, to document my progress successes failures what I learned from the failures and everything like that and if I end up motivating a couple of people along for the ride then you know that's awesome that's what I want I'm gonna go for a bit of a swim how are you doing right ball spell yeah you see so many people swimming about the stingers I said the worst ones are over at Fraser Island I said they're I won't guarantee it, but there's a lot of people find it a lot safer over here to swim. And uh, should be on. Enjoy yourself. I've been enjoying my daily swimming. It's been fixing my mental up a little bit. I'm able to ground myself more. You can see, like, I am grounding myself. It's just something that yeah, one of my good friends told me about grounding that feels good. I just want to go and have some fun now. So, anyway, I'll see you on the next section. Yeah, just finished up my swim with my brother. This was a lot of fun. Water is actually really warm today, actually. Um, uh, I usually like it a bit cool. I heard about a series of, uh, you know, uh, jellyfish attacks on people. Um, but that's to do with Fraser Island and not here, but we're very close to Fraser Island maybe like 20 or 30 kilometers away but still you know some could have drifted over here getting that in my, my stomach like thinking about it brother brought it up while I was in the water another guy talked about it when I was on the beach what's about stingrays? stingrays? stingers oh uh, I thought it was about like jellyfish I said I know you should be fine here so just yeah. have a bit of swim here and enjoy yourself there's a nice problem there over there it's a big, beautiful place. Enjoy yourself.
Oh, so. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, well, if you want to see what happens in Vlog 88, click over there. Bye for now.